What's going on everybody? I hope you've had a great day today. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I hope you find what I do here interesting or informational or educational. And if not one of those three, at least hopefully you find it entertaining. I hope you find something you like about it and this isn't a waste of your time. Um, if you are a subscriber or somebody who's watched my videos before, thank you very much. I appreciate your support and I greatly appreciate you uh, helping my channel grow. That being said, jumping into it really quick, I've got a update, or not an update, but um, we are going to get started on the BSPWM series. I'm going to do probably three videos on BSPWM. Uh, this first one is going to be just your basic install and getting files and directories created and moved around where they need to be and uh, everything set up and ready to go to where we can actually log into a what's going to be a black screen but it will be a working uh, setup of BSPWM where you can launch a terminal and launch a run uh, program launcher. So that being said let's go ahead and launch a terminal let's clear the screen and let's zoom in and we're just going to go through step by step real quick on how to install what you need to install for BSPWM. So that being said you're going to use whatever package manager you're on. If you're on Debian use apt. If you're on an arch based use pacman or, or yay or one of the um, AUR helpers will work fine. Um, I'm assuming I believe if you're on Fedora you can use yum. I'm not positive. Um, I've never used it. Um, but as for me I'm on void so I use XBPS. Um, I already have this stuff installed, but I'm just going to walk through the steps with you. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install certain programs. So, if you're on Pac Man, you're going to use sudo Pac Man. If you're on Debian, you're going to use sudo apt install. If you are going to use yay, you can do yay dash s. Um, I'm on uh, void again, so I'm going to do sudo xbps and I'm going to do xbps install dash s and we're going to do bspwm sxhkd which is simple x hotkey daemon. We're going to want dmenu and we're also going to want rxvt dash unicode. Now, what these are is BSPWM is the main program. That's the main window manager we're going to need. Um, the problem with BSPWM is it does not manage its own key bindings. So, we need to install SimpleX Hotkey Daemon. SXHKD is what BSPM, BSPWM uses to manage its key bindings. So, we need to install that. Otherwise, we can launch into BSPWM, but we can't control anything. We're also going to install DMenu, so we got a nice program run launcher when we get started. And I'm installing rxvt-unicode because by default, SimpleX Hotkey Daemon RC and BSPWM, when you log into it and you want to launch a terminal with the mod key, which is the super key in BSPWM, um, with the mod key and enter, it's going to want to launch urxvt. And if you don't have that installed, you're not going to be able to launch a terminal. So that being said, you're going to want to install with whatever package manager you have, BSPWM, SimpleX Hotkey Daemon, D menu and RXVT dash Unicode. Go ahead and do that. Press enter. Um, it'll take a couple seconds. It'll install. And then once that step is done, what we want to do is we want to make a couple directories. So the first one we're going to do, we're going to do MKDIR dot config and then we're going to make BSPWM. So in our home directory, in our dot config directory, we need to make another directory called BSPWM. So the path would be home, your username dot config BSPWM. So we need to make that directory, and then we also need to make a simple X hotkey daemon or SXHKD. Again, that will be in your slash home, slash your username, slash dot config, slash simple X hotkey daemon, SXHKD. So now once we've made those two directories, we can actually go and check in our so CD into slash user slash share slash doc slash bspwm slash examples and hit enter. So again if we pwd print working directory you can see we're in our slash user directory in the share directory the doc directory bspwm and examples and what we have in here if I do an ls is we have example configuration files and example rules uh, for bspwm and for simple x hockey daemon. What we want to do is we want to get this file right here and this file right here into their proper locations. This bspwmrc needs to be in that home.config slash bspwm directory we just created. So to do that we're going to do a sudo cp slash user slash share slash doc slash bspwm 
slash example slash BS PWM RC and we're going to do that into our dot config slash BS PWM directory so again sudo cp slash user slash share slash doc slash bspwm slash examples slash bspwmrc and copy that to our home slash dot config slash bspwm go ahead hit enter that'll move that file or copy that file and then we also want to do the simple x hotkey daemon rc so we're going to move the user share doc bspwm examples simple x hotkey daemon rc and we're going to move that to home slash dot config slash simple x hotkey daemon so that's going to get moved into that second file we created that home user dot config sx hkd so that gets our programs installed that gets our directories created and that gets those two files that we need moved over to the directory file or to the directories they need to be in for our system to read them as the user now that being said let's go ahead and clear the screen um, and we will now go with we need to change ownership of those two files right now they're going to be root owned so you would have to have sudo privilege to be able to edit those files so what we want to do is let's actually go home we're going to cd home so if i do a pwd you can see i'm back in my home dash, dash jake um so we want to do a sudo chown and we want to do your username colon your username and then we want to do dot config slash bs pwm slash bs pwm rc so this is going to change the ownership of your .config, bspwm, bspwmrc, so that way you don't need to have root privilege to edit it and to go in and change things. We're going to do the same thing. Do the sudo chown your username colon your username to the .config sxhkd and sxhkdrc. So this will change the ownership of our simplex hotkey daemon rc file so that way we don't have to have root privilege to edit that as well so that being said now we have all of our files we have our programs installed we have our directories made we have our files where they need to be and we have access and permission to edit those files and do it without sudo privilege so that being said if we go and do a cd into dot config and we do a pwd you can see we're in home jake dot config and i do an ls you can see we've got our bspwm and we have our simple x hotkey daemon right there so let's cd into bspwm and we're going to vim into our bspwmrc and we're just going to take a quick look at this so that being said, at this point right now, if you log out of your system and log back into your display manager and you click on whatever display manager you have that allows you to change which desktop environment you're using, if you select BSPWM, you will log in and you will log into a black screen. Now, if you log into a black screen and you don't have that RxVT-Unicode installed like we did at the beginning, then you won't be able to launch your terminal. But since we installed that at the beginning, if you press super enter you will launch a terminal and you will be able to move around from there also if you hit the super space uh, simple x hotkey daemon by default runs d menu run with the super space command so that way you'll have a run launcher and can run other programs but that being said let's just take a quick look at our bspwmrc file like I said, this is going to be a really quick, brief overview of installing the correct stuff. Um, in the next day or two, uh, maybe three, I know it, uh, I, I'm getting kind of busy, but uh, we're going to go over actually setting up, configuring, installing, doing some other stuff with it, getting a bar, all that. But this is just kind of a brief overview to get everything that we need installed, installed. But if you look, you can see this is a very short configuration file. It's 23 lines long, and I added four of those lines already. Otherwise, you'd have about 19 lines. Uh, the only thing you're going to have in the auto start section, which the auto start won't be there either because I put that in just to note, but the only thing you're going to have calling on startup is your simple X hotkey daemon. So that's going to be in there. I've added the wallpaper so that I, I can have wallpaper when I log into it, power manager, uh, compositor, and then my launch script to launch polybar when I'm all set up. Other than that, you've got your um, workspaces right here under BSPC monitor. Again, um, 
BSPWM uses BSPC. Uh, it doesn't control Windows on its own. It uses a separate program or a separate section, kind of like Herb's Luft and Herb's Client. Um, it starts you off with some basic stuff. Your border width, which is the border around the windows, is going to be two pixels. Um, your window gap, um, I've changed this in here just goofing around, but it's going to be, uh, by default, it's going to be 12 pixels uh, for window gap. So you can change that to have more gap between windows or less gap between windows. Um, the split ratio is going to start out at point, 0 0.52. That's going to be 0.52% master window, and then the other 0.48% is stack. Um, I have it set to 60, so I have a 60-40 split on my windows. Um, it's going to be set to borderless monocle and gapless monocle, which is true, which is going to be a full, true full screen with no border and no gaps. And then down here we have some window rules. Um, these are just generic window rules. It just kind of shows you how you can do it. But like this BSPC rule dash a GIMP um, desktop or caret eight means it's always going to launch on workspace eight. It's going to be floating and we're going to follow it. Um, rule a Chromium is always going to launch on desktop two. Uh, M player two is always going to be floating. Um, so these are just basics. You can delete these, change these, do whatever you want with them. These aren't going to affect um, being able to launch into BSPWM at all. Um, they're just some basic window rules to start you off and things that you can change. That being said, let's exit out of here and let's vim into Simple X Hotkey Daemon. I have a copy of that in my BSPWMRC. Um, I will show you how to do that later too, but for, for right now, make sure your Simple X Hotkey Daemon RC is in your Simple X Hotkey Daemon directory in your .config. Um, I've changed a few things in it. Uh, like I said, um, Super Enter was usually going to launch URXVT. I changed that off the bat. I changed my modifier to Alt because I don't use the super key. But Alt Shift Return is going to launch Kitty for me. Um, Alt Shift D is going to do D menu run. Like I said, for you, it's going to be Alt Shift. But if you just go into this uh, Simple X Hotkey Daemon RC and just take a look, you can see the syntax is super simple. Um, you'll be able to modify and make some changes on your own um, from the get go with very little uh, understanding of uh, or experience being in it because it's just it's so super simple. That being said, you should now have a working, operational, bootable, get into BSPWM, launch a terminal, and launch a run menu um, all set up on your system, and you should be ready to go for us on our next video when we start configuring it. So I hope this uh, helped you, and I hope you're looking forward to the next video because uh, we're going to get going and get some uh, kind of cool stuff going with it. So uh, stay tuned and keep watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. God bless.